you guys ready to get started with one of my favorite problems? And the reason why I wanted this is my favorite problems is because students have such a hard time uh, understanding it. So it's something that I easily get to explain over and over and over again. And I really enjoy trying to trying to look at different ways for uh, you guys to understand it. So what we have um, is we have a pyramid here. And you know, with this pyramid, what we're going to try to find is we're going to try to find the surface area. So if you guys can always think of the surface area is, you know, think if I had to paint something, I would need to make sure I covered the whole surface of the whole thing. Or let's say this was, uh, you know, let's say I was going to drop this in water. The surface area would be everything that gets wet. Nothing in the inside is going to get wet, but you know, everything on the outside would be wet. So we need to figure out what is all this area that is, you know, covering up uh, this pyramid. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm gonna make a little net, sometimes we like to say, and I'm gonna kind of branch off this onto a two-dimensional. Right now, I'm kind of trying to represent it as a 3D. What I'm gonna do now is represent it as a two-dimensional figure. And I know this is really, really bad, but um, you guys should see, if I was to kind of bring all these sides together and kind of flip back up to its side, it would look something like this. And what we can notice is on this two dimensional, I have a 10 by 10, and then this length, or the height of each side triangle is 13. So when finding the surface area, the best um, kind of tip I can give you is to break it up and just find every single possible area that you can, and then at the end, add them up. So first thing I have is a square plus, let's see, let's call this, um, Let's call this the front. And we'll see, here's gonna be the right side. We'll call this the left side. And then here we'll call this the back side. So if I have, this is the front, right, no. Front, right, back, left. So first one let's do is front, which is a 10 by 13. I think they're all 10 by 13, yeah. Front plus, we need to do the right side, plus the left side, plus the back. So therefore I have all four sides, and I have the bottom, the base. So to find the area of a square, um, that's gonna be your length times width. 10 times 10 is gonna give me 100, plus, Find the area of a triangle. That's going to be one half length times width. 10 times 13 is 130. Divide by 2 is 65. Plus another 65. Plus another 65. Plus another 65. Because each one, each all, each one of those triangles are all the same. And when I add these all up, 65 plus 65 is 130. Now I have 260, plus another 100 is going to be 360. And I don't know what it is, but uh, if we are using units on this problem or not. But you know, one thing since you're doing with the area, it is going to be a squared unit. So that's just one thing to uh, remember as far as this. I can't remember the problem. I think I was just using units. So be 360 units squared. Um, and that's how you find the surface area of a pyramid.